This is the countertop I'm building. So here I am getting ready to build the new countertop. One thing I have to do before I go any further is reinforce the top of these cabinets. I don't want to have any sag in between there. So what I plan on doing is putting a 2x4 across here and that's going to help stiffen it up the main base. And you can kind of see how the top is sagging here a little bit. I mean these cabinets are pretty old to begin with. So here's the material that I'm working with. It's 3 quarter inch millimeter. I have a couple pieces. Nothing spectacular but this is what I have to work with. I'm still thinking about what color I'm going to paint these things if I am going to paint it. Alright well here I have it all boxed out. I use a bunch of 2x4s and I have it built up to the height that I want to bring it up to. You can see in the windowsill that I have see the metal there in the windowsill? I'm trying to bring it the top to bottom out with the bottom of the metal here. And I have 2x4s in the front and I have 2x4s a couple inches in and underneath this quarter inch I have another 2x4. So here we go with the first piece I have that cut in. Alright you can see how it's all boxed out and so far nothing is touching the old original countertop itself. It's free floating. So now I'm going to do some more cutting and I plan on putting a strip of poplar right here on the back. That's This is the backing that I have for that. So now that I have the first couple pieces cut in, here's where the seam is going to be. And back here beyond the poplar that I told you about, I'm going to have another piece of melamine going right up against the window frame itself. So now I'm going to use the biscuit joiner and I'm going to put a bunch of biscuits on the seam here. And that will help hold it in place. So far it's looking pretty good. After I get all that cut in, I'll attach the poplar and then before I secure it to the bottom frame right there, I'll get all this back piece cut in and scrap it in real nice. Alright, I'm getting ready to install the seam. And the way I'm going to attach this is I'm going to use a 3 16 drill bit. I'm going to pre-drill holes in the poplar every 6 inches. And I'm just going to use regular drywall screws 3 inch to attach the piece to the millimeter. I have the first piece in. It's looking pretty good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add biscuits all the way back here in between each screw. Here I have the countertop flipped upside down. And what I'm going to do is route out some sections for the tie joints and that will help hold the countertop together. What a mess! So now that I've freehanded all these tie joints here, I'm going to dust this sucker off, tie the seam using the tie joints. I'll flip it over and work on the back. So now that I have the top in and the center is tied, I have one piece of melamine left right here. I've got to make that work for all this. So I'll cut it in tight from the pegboard to the poplar here, flush with that, and I'll have a one inch strip in the back here to match the one inch strip right here in the front. And this is going to be what I'm going to paint later on. And this will be seven, and this will be six and five eighths, and this will be seven and five eighths. I have my numbers figured out. This new piece I did, I went ahead and put a tie joint here and I'm going to put a biscuit joint right here and there. And that will make it really strong. Alright, so check out the scribe stick that I made. Yeah. And what I did is I have it all marked out against the pegboard. So I'll scribe that in with my belt sander. Look at the details there. Yeah, I'll scribe all that in. It should be pretty good. It's going to leave a one inch at the back. We'll check it out. Alright, I got it in, but it's not perfect, it's close. So if you look here, I still have an eighth of an inch overhang. Alright, I tied the seam up everywhere it had to be tightened, and I marked it out so I could scrub off one extra eighth of an inch, and here I also put marks so I could go ahead and run biscuit joints all the way down the seam to lock the back in. And yeah, I have one inch back here, and that's going to be for the one inch piece of poplar that I'm going to paint to match the piece in the front right here. And so I have it all marked up. I'm going to set up my sawhorses and get the belt sander out. And I'm going to cut off this whole length here. So I ended up laying out the biscuits 10 inches apart. 
figured that was enough. And that's going to give it the strength that I need for all the support that I'm going to put on there. All right, so the back piece is pretty much where it's going to go. It's scribed in nice and tight. I still have the one inch piece to install against the back window, but I want you to notice over here, underneath the seam, you can see the backing that I have that the seam is actually going to sit on, so that way there's no flex when there's a lot of weight on here. It's just that two by four on that quarter inch piece of material that I showed you earlier. All right, it's upside down again, and I ended up um, adding a couple extra tie joints on the far ends, and here's what these ones look like. Here's the other one on the other end here. I have nine all together. So yeah, it's starting to get late. As you can see, it's dark outside. And here I have the one inch piece installed. This piece is gonna go against the window and I already painted it flat black. So I won't see anything through there. On the top, I'll paint it whatever color I figure out. So the next step is I have to add a piece of wood to this face edge on the countertop so you won't see this raw wood. So one of the next projects I want to do is I want to get in here and put some epoxy on these concrete floors. It really doesn't look good at all, but one thing at a time. All right, so I'm going to put the cap on the countertop now. So what I did is I went to the store, I bought a couple 16 foot pieces of this four inch by three quarter inch material. I just got back and I primed it. So now I'm getting ready to install it. All right, let's take a look at what I got. So it's going to cover this up, it's going to flush out at the top here, I'll route the bottom off and I'll put another round over here.